and I won't lie, my anxiety's been through the roof. Couldn't really get off my phone for the last hour. Big wave of loneliness. I want, I just want company. Now, Christmas is in a week and I don't have any plans because my family's in America. And I've been invited to like a few friends. Like friends have been like, oh my God, don't have Christmas alone. Like come be with me. And in my head, I was like, oh yeah, but I want to be in my apartment. And obviously before like my breakup, Christmas was planned that Max and I were gonna have Christmas in here and that worked with me. Like someone to come here, have Christmas with me, a loved one, and just have a nice time and whatever. And obviously that can't happen now. And I was kind of telling her like, I'm not thinking about it at all. Like I'm not thinking about it at all. I'm ignoring it. I don't want to think about it. What should I do? Like, what should I actually do? What's the right thing to do? And we started talking about it and I started crying because like, I've had a little past with Christmases, especially as a child. It's like a little bit of trauma within me, which is what she described not having the Christmas that, I'm not gonna say that I wanted, but just that the, the little girl in me wanted. I always saw like my friends have, you know, all their family together and the coolest decorations and the coolest gifts and, and just like your traditional English family Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Throughout the years, have I learned to be less attached to Christmas? Like from a very young age, did I become less attached to Christmas because it was my way of coping with like not having the Christmas that I really truly wanted. And so, so she was basically saying like, Anna, this is a really good opportunity, just like my birthday. So I basically had this with my birthday too. I became less and less attached to my birthday as I grew up because it was never quite, like I always compared my birthdays to other people. And I was like, oh, I don't do that and whatever. And I felt like there was pressure. And on my 21st birthday, which was in September, I had the best birthday ever because I made it an Anna day. I was like, I'm gonna do everything I wanna do. And within that, did I have the best birthday? And I provided that to myself. And she was like, I think this is another little healing moment for your inner child to like get excited about it and do those things. And I was like, yeah, but I don't have a tree and there's no point because it's four days. And she was like, get a tree for four days. And I was like, really? So like, I'm gonna get a tree. She was like, go Christmas shopping for yourself. So I don't know whether today or maybe tomorrow, like I'll see what my plan says. I'm basically gonna make Christmas special for myself. Now, she did say it's so important to hang out with like friends and family too. I don't mind driving. So I might on Christmas day, like drive back to my hometown and like pop around a few of my friends. Don't ask me what I did. I did a few admin bits and then I struggled. <laughs> I think I still am. I'm just about to go out. I just got myself out. I'm not gonna question what I'm doing. I'm gonna get coffee and I'm gonna do some errands. It's nearly lunchtime. So I'm just gonna put some food in because there's no point me getting food out if I have so much food in the fridge. Oh my beautiful knife, which I really don't mind eating cold if I'm being honest. We can only put one step in front of the other. Only one step in front of the other. And I'm pretty sure I haven't had coffee in like a week, which is unheard of to me because obviously, okay, not a week, that's an exaggeration. So once I get a bit of coffee in me, I'm, I'll be superhero. I'll be superhero. Today's outfit is really giving um, 12 year old boy. Got my jeans on. These are like slightly baggier kind of flared ones. I go through phases whether I like them or not, which is why I don't wear them much. But I basically got my little satchel, which I'm gonna put that in. I might be home in 20 minutes, who knows? Right, shall see you later. Bye bye. Hello! Um, I had such a good trip. Let me tell you quickly. So, I found a Reforma Pilates, like, basically, I went to a different high street. I'm basically in the middle of somewhere that, like, I'm just on the edge of everywhere. So I like, I'm part of so many different parts of London, if that makes sense. Instead of being just like, oh, I live here. I'm like, I live here, 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 here. Anyways, so I went to a different little area, seven, eight minute drive, Reforma Pilates. And then there was like so many cute, zero waste shops, natural foods, health stores, which is so me. Um, so I bought some stuff. I will show you what I got, but firstly, as I was driving home, I looked to my left and there was a Christmas tree thing. And I was like, indicator, we're going. That was it. There was no decision making. I was like, you're getting a Christmas tree right now. My Christmas tree's in my car and it's a bit prickly. So let's go get it together. Oh, and also while I was doing my shopping, I went and go got my car washed because I was needing that. I was like, you know what? You need a bit of a clean. And I want to keep my car presentable because I feel like it gives off a vibe of how I'm doing. And I got an extra shine put on it for extra shine. And the car guys were lovely. 
Um, saying that, imagine I got my car cleaned inside and out, and then I go pick up a Christmas tree, which has made the inside dirty again, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. And I'm also trying to film like a reel of me setting up the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna try like film myself. You're gonna obviously see it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, crikey, do I need keys? I'm so, I'm gonna lock myself out one day. Oh, lighting looks cute. Come on, get out the door. Okay, so we're gonna basically film me getting my Christmas tree. Can you see this lovely shine? See that glisten? Oh, look at the sunshine. There we have it, guys. All right, Anna, put your head on and stand your phone up. Sorry, you've got an awful angle. Oh, so spiky. <laughs> We're trying to get candid. I can't believe I'm doing it with one hand. I really expected this to be more hassle. <sighs> Guys, we did it! We got my own little Christmas tree. Doesn't that look so good with the wood stand? Oh, I love it! <laughs> it looks a little lost in the corner. So I'm currently making dinner, you can hear. I have leftover pasta from yesterday and I have some leftover like pesto, so I'm gonna merge. And then I've cooked some courgettes, which I showed, which I'll put in here and then salmon. Um, what have I done this evening? Oh yeah, I had a call with Alex, which went well, and I just did some admin and then I just chilled. This is my big to-do list, right? A lot to do. And that scares me. So instead I'm gonna put like two or three a day because then I will feel achieved if I do it. Okay, so I have just kind of like broken that up. Sometimes I just wanna be quick. I'm gonna chuck in the cold pasta. I'm gonna chuck in the pesto. Does anybody else love banana chips? Mm. Good morning. Um, let me show you my breakfast. I've been on a call, so I've like, it's just been soaking here. But, oh my God, okay. So it's muesli and granola mixed together on the bottom. And then I've sprinkled it with flaxseed, pumpkin seed, sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, pecans, goji berries, and peanut butter. And yeah, I'm gonna dig into that. Oh, I also added honey as well for sweetness. Mm. Okay guys, I recorded my podcast and I was like doing some bits and whatnot and now I decided to give myself a break and that break consists of learning a TikTok dance. So, <laughs> it goes. <laughs> it's like a one. And so it's like. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Okay. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> I just can't do this part. Like, boom. And then like. weird. The reason why I'm showing you is because my phone has died. So I have to wait for um, my phone to recharge. Hey guys. I'll tell you what I'm feeling and what I'm reflecting. Couldn't really get off my phone for the last hour and in between other stuff as well today. And it's just hard because I'm not a phone person. I don't like to scroll. And so when I'm doing it a lot, it really gets under my grill, obviously there's, like I think sometimes, like I think now what I was kind of thinking why I was doing it was because the whole day have I been going at tasks, even if in the middle I've had a little break. And earlier I was doing my things, I recorded my podcast, I, you know, whatever. Um, although there's still a couple of things on my to-do list for today, but I like, it's 4.30 now and I haven't really given myself any time today to just like stop, like actually stop, like without guilt. Like I've had time off, but I haven't, you know, I've just been scrolling and stuff. And that's what was kind of telling me like just now that Anna, you haven't actually given yourself a break from this work stuff today. So no wonder you are procrastinating. So you have a choice. You either keep trying to get things done all the way till nighttime and then go to bed and feel really great, obviously not. Or you actually just stop now and be like this, you have to almost give yourself full permission of like this block of time is not for work. Like I'm not expecting you to do work. Um, 
yeah my phone did just die so i'm just gonna keep it off like that i feel like i need some dedicated chill time so then my body knows like right we're chilling now and then if i want to get started and do a couple more things then i can however i want to be pretty much done now so what am i gonna do now I want a snack and I want a shower and I want to get my pajamas and I want to get cozy. Just given all the potatoes a little wash and like scraped off the bad edges and stuff. And then I'm chopping them in half and then I'm just putting them on here. And I'm gonna make, I'm basically gonna use the whole pack and then I'll have like leftover cooked potatoes for the fridge. And then I'm just gonna, I think I've got potato seasoning somewhere. Roast the potato. And then I'm going to add some extra salt because I like salty potatoes. Just a little drizzle. And I'm literally just going to mix them all up, get a nice even coverage. I'll put them all facing down. There we go. Look at all those potatoes. Wasn't that easy? You know when you tidy up and then you come to the point where like there's like messy little bits like exhibit A. Guys, also you should be proud of me i made a friend today so i was at the coffee shop and a lovely girl came up to me and i was like oh my god like i follow you um and she was saying really nice words and she was like yeah i saw you were like in my area now and i was like she was like it was so cool and then i was like brave me now normally i'd be like too scared or i would like my brain would be like oh next time and then i was like would you like to go on a walk sometime so i've made a friend in my area which is very exciting i'm proud of myself for actually making the move call me bob the builder look at those potatoes look at these can you see that wow that looks good and then look <laughs> i've got mushrooms courgette salmon oh my god that's really good oh look at them look at them and look at the vegetables look how good they look Guys, these potatoes are so good, I've nearly eaten half of them. I just can't help it. And I also think, they're so amazing for you. I don't know why they're feared. Well, I do know why they're feared. I feared them. But like, they're so good for you. They're so good for you. We need healthy carbohydrates, guys. I hope you realize. Quite literally helps you function. Good morning. Um, I'm off to go pick up my friend. It's currently raining so much. But I'm going to go drive back to my hometown to pick up some stuff from home and then go pick up my friend. My rose hip. I don't even want to think the last time I saw Maisie. It must have been like probably a year. Probably a year since I've seen Maisie, which is just crazy. Maisie's basically like my younger sister. She is like a mini me and I used to do like acro gymnastics. Um, at like a school level so we were in the same school when she was three years younger and then because like I was the base and I needed someone small she was obviously smaller because she was three years younger I then based her for like five years and we were like the first people in our school to get gold like four years straight or something or five years straight I don't know how many years we did it for um so yeah like we created such a cute little bond and then she ended up being like my little sister and she almost looks like me as well I don't know now because obviously like her style's changing and like she's grown up. Guys, she used to be a baby and now she's like, like she has boy problems. Why does she have boy problems? <laughs> I might try and insert some of our like acro and gymnastic stuff in here for the lols if I can find any stuff. Um, but it was all like self-taught, like in our gymnastics club, you were just like given the mat and be like, right, so we were always like, let's do crazy stuff. Not crazy stuff, but you know, we tried.
I really don't have time to gouache after today, so that's gonna have to take a hold. But at the moment, I'm going in with color correcting cream. Millie got me on this when I moved in with her. She was like, oh my God, you need this. So I use that for makeup and then I stopped doing my makeup in the summer and then I forgot I had it. See that? Very simple. Also, I got this new little cardigan. Do we like it? I feel like it works well with the flares. This one's the panty, the panty like crop. I think it's called. Then we're ready. We're gonna show you our gymnastics. <laughs> Ta-da! Easy. Easy. I can like, ooh. I press, I swim. <laughs> <laughs> my back is back, I know. Hello, darling. I have to use my abs to keep my legs up. Do you want to put my hair in a braid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are reunited. Do we look similar? We're gonna cut my, like, my bangs today. Oh yeah, we're well. gonna cut her hair. We're, we're gonna cut my hair. Basically, she got broken up with and she needs to cut her hair. <laughs> <laughs> or a piercing, but I don't really let me get my dose. No, you are not, not yet. You are not getting a nipple piercing. Guys, I'm gonna do standing on shoulders in my bloody house. All right, guys, this is probably not clever of me because we don't actually have like a cushion floor for her to land on if she needs to jump off. This is our support <laughs> system. This is, this is safety at its finest. Woo! No warm up. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <sighs> After Maisie left yesterday, I really struggled. I won't lie, I really struggled. I had like a big wave of loneliness and feeling really alone. And when I was coming back from Central, I had like, there was no more buses left to like get me from the station to my house. So I had to walk like 25 minutes in the dark at like 9 p.m., which didn't really sit right with me. And I just couldn't get hold of anyone. So I was just like, walking and sad and then I think that kind of like triggered me and then when I came home I was just like scrolling on my phone and then I was just like <laughs> at one point was I sitting on my kitchen floor with my knees up like crying eating chocolate coins <laughs> like I was like no one can even hear me crying and I just felt so low, like I felt so, because it was just weird, like, I think the double effect of like, when you have a boyfriend, you have that like safety blanket of someone always being there. Like when I had Max, I could call him and I, because he was my boyfriend and because of our relationship, I never had to think about when I called him. I never had to be like, oh, are you free? Can I call right now? Do you know what I mean? You don't play games with your boyfriend, right? And so I used to be able to just have this person that was always there for me. Like if I needed someone and be like, I'm really upset right now, he would be there. And so it was like a double whammy of like, like being reminded that like I've been through a breakup, I don't have that person anymore. And you're living alone. It was a bit too much for me yesterday. It was a bit too much for me. Anyways, um, it's Christmas Eve. That was the other thing I felt lonely about. I was like, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. 
and everyone's got plans like with their family and I've got nothing and no one's gonna wanna meet me because they've got with their family but I'm not bringing that into today. I'm just having a me day. Also, dumb bitch me was like, right Anna, what work are you gonna do tomorrow? Work. It's Christmas Eve, you're telling me everyone else in the universe gets to have the day off. Okay, that may not be true. Some people may be working on Christmas Eve, which I take that back. And I'm very grateful that I don't have to work on Christmas Eve. But the majority, especially the people in the line of work with me, or just like the majority are taking the day off Christmas Eve, obviously. Why do I, do I need to work? Do you know what I mean? I don't need to get ahead of people today. I am going to do my first ever home workout in this home, which is kind of a big deal. I would love to have a morning routine of every day that I wake up. Like when I, you know, when I do my skincare, I do my hair, I brush my teeth. I would love to go downstairs and do a 20 minute Pilates stretch or workout and then have breakfast or have breakfast and then do the workout and that be like a staple like it's part of like my mental health routine to wake up and do that and then get on with my day and do that every day because it's like a low intensity workout and then if i want to go on a run or if i want to do a proper workout i can do that in the evening but to have that like because i have the routine of like getting myself ready whatever i feel like releasing and doing some movement would be good so i'm basically going to do a workout yeah, I'm just gonna like take you along with Christmas Eve a little bit, I guess. Cause it's just me and you guys. It's just me and you. <laughs> guys, I forgot to show you my new skincare products. So we've got this one, which I actually don't know how to use. It's like for your body, BHA. But then I used this one last night. And oh my God, if you have dry skin, that was beautiful. I felt like heaven. And then I got an Omega Complex Cleansing Balm, which I'm gonna use when I have like makeup on. So it's more like, taking it away and then my new like face wash is this one which i'll be using so it's like more for dry skin which is good because i just have dry skin i got a omega moisturizer which i just used on my face and then i got two little freebies which i thought was cute now this was my old face um gel cleanser which i absolutely loved i just wanted to try a new one out but guys i i was obsessed with this one and then we have the BHA exfoliant, which I need to know how to use this one as well. Guys, I did my movement. You should be proud. It was actually a mixture of like yoga, Pilates. I don't even know. And like when I saw I had done 20 minutes, I was like, oh, it doesn't feel like I've done a workout. It doesn't feel like I've done 20 minutes. No part of my body hurts. Like not even hurts, but just like, I don't know. Because I was just like, going along with the flow and doing random bits, like I wasn't following a workout. My brain started telling me like, that wasn't really a workout, you need to like feel a bit more. And I was like, and then I stopped myself, I was like, no, 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 Anna, you've done your 20 minutes of movement, right? It's just movement, we've just warmed up the body. Doesn't matter if we didn't do enough reps for the arms to like feel a pump or grow or get results the next day, like that's not what it's about, right? It's just about I moved my body and now I feel good I don't need to do, if I try and get myself to do way more, this will be the only session I do in the week because I would make it too, like I'd make it too big of a task. You've got to feel it, you've got to have a burn, you've got to sweat, do you know what I mean? I never sweat, but like, you know, whatever. I have now put on some leggings, like, like leggings guys, not flares. They're the same style as the flares, but they're just, um, what's it called? But they're leggings, right? I am now gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna go to the deer park. I'm gonna go to the deer park. I haven't gone once since I've moved and I wanna go every day because it's like the most beautiful park in London. And it's Christmas Eve and there's deers, so I have to go. I haven't actually been on a walk with myself and I feel like this is a big mental health moment because like no one talks about the fact how hard it is to walk by yourself. You are left with your, your like, it is such like to actually go on a walk by yourself with music is actually a task in itself because like you are really left with your own mind and I don't have an issue with this I used to have an issue with it oh my god coming out of recovery you no know, going, going into recovery I could not walk for about a year by myself like I was petrified of my own mind because I used to go on walks in like a really disordered way like the whole time I'd be thinking like right you're losing weight you're burning calories this is what you're gonna do in the week you're not good enough like I would like 
rack my life of how I should improve it, like in a way of like distracting myself. Anyways, anyways, we're not there anymore, but I haven't been on a walk in ages and I would love to go on a little mental health walk. Guys, I'm emotional. This is hard. I feel lonely. <laughs> Oh, my therapist is telling me to really connect to my inner child, but it's hard right now and I just want company in my home. I haven't gone on my walk yet. I just don't. Guys, I shifted my energy. I was sobbing earlier. Honestly, I did not show it on camera. But I was just like crying so much, I was crying over the sink so my clothes wouldn't get wet and the tears would just fall in the sink. Like I was having an emotional pow pow. It was a mixture of breakup, Christmas, lonely, everything. Um, family not being near, everything. And my therapist helped me kind of like ask me questions to like reflect back on me in order to, for me to understand what was going on. and. What was interesting was, I think earlier I mentioned, and maybe I didn't, that like initially me and my therapist thought it was like inner child stuff. We thought um, my inner child doesn't feel like it's Christmas, so she's upset and she's lonely, she doesn't have family around. But really it wasn't. My inner child was fine. She was like, what, we're going to watch movies all day or we're going to go on a walk? Great, fine, with me. Do you know what I mean? It's Christmas, I'm cool. It was actually my adult self who was feeling lonely in the boy sector of my life. Now, without giving too much information, guys, I did not process my relationship enough, the end of the relationship enough. First week, I did it great. Like, if you watched my breakup vlog, like, oh, I, um, I was processing through it, whatever, and very quickly did I put my heart into, like, other people's hands, if that makes sense. Like, before, my ex-boyfriend, he held my heart. He like supported me anytime I needed him. I'd call him anytime like anything happened. He was there for me. Then obviously we broke up. So I picked my heart up and I didn't go, oh, let me, let me look after it myself. I went, mm, yeah, you look good. You can look after it. And not actually consciously aware that I was doing that, but it was until the last couple of days where I was getting really triggered by like not feeling supported. And I was like, wait, shit. This is my role. This is my role to support myself. And do you want to know how I changed it? I went on a walk and I spent three hours in nature. I wasn't walking for three hours, but I was submerged in the park for three hours. I stopped, I ate, I had water. I, I was walking for a long time and I had my music on and I was just, honestly, it changed my energy. Nature changes your energy. So if you can get out in nature, like that place was healing for me. So I'm so glad that it's literally around the corner and I literally saw sunset. And then, so that like really helped me and I felt really good after in a way of like really clear. This is what I'm clear on now. I, I have, to, you have to actively put in effort to work on yourself, especially after a breakup or, you know, whatever, when you're really trying to turn up for yourself, you're trying to be the adult version of yourself. You're trying to comfort yourself, regulate yourself, manage your emotions, right? Not always just dump everything on other people or whatever you're going through. You, it, it takes active working on yourself. And the last three weeks, I haven't been working on myself. I haven't been proactively like, what can I do that counts as working on myself? Now, I don't feel like we always know. And that's the thing, like I, I don't essentially know exactly what that means, but I'm on a journey of doing that. I'm on a journey of finding out what works and working on myself today meant going on a walk in nature, listening to my music, listening to the voices in my head <coughs> Whoa. and getting clear, like getting clear on what this next chapter means. So that was good. And then I ended up going to um, a little high street and I didn't realize how close it was to me and I did some shopping. So I want to show you guys because we love a little haul. I got this from Waitrose. Basically like a big thing of refillable soap. So I'm using this for my upstairs hand soap. Oh my God, look, these are reduced. So I'm just gonna chuck them in the freezer. 99p for a whole vegetable lasagna. Get in my tum. Like what? Three pound for a whole chicken satay curry, like 
loads of chicken and mixture, which I'll use in the next couple of days. It's so funny, as I was going into the store, I was like, I really want to make myself like a mini Christmas dinner, but I don't want to get a whole chicken. This, £1.79 for a butter basted, butter, I don't know how to say that word, chicken breast joint, right? All nice and flavoured. I'm just going to pop that. That's like half a chicken. That's perfect for me. I'll eat half a chicken. Then I bought a candle, an Aroma Works unwind candle, because I'm going to have a bath tonight and I wanted to get some candles. So, um, tampons. <laughs> Lol. Then I got some Women's Balance Foaming Bath for my bath tonight. This is a really good company, by the way. I got some blueberry yogurt, which I always love. This is tonight's little dessert. You know, I was like, yeah. Come on, gal. I always forget to buy myself cute little desserts. So I've got a salted caramel chocolate ganache. Then I got this hand soap for the kitchen. Now, I thought this was another vegetable lasagna, but it's not. It's vegetarian cottage pie with sweet potato mash. Oh, and then the last thing I got was bath salts. Um, the woman's mix as well, which I'll put in my bath tonight. So here we are in the bathroom. I'll show you what else I got for the bathroom. So I basically found like a really cute Scandinavian home shop, which just excited me. Now I spent way too much money there. Look at this cute hand soap, Meraki hand soap. I thought that was really cute, you know. I think for like a spare bathroom, it's really key to have like a cute hand soap. Do you know what I mean? Like make your guests feel welcome. Right, and then the other things that I purchased. Now, I don't, I don't remember the last time I did Christmas cards, probably primary school. I wanted to do some for my friends and I was going to buy individual cards, um, but I, there wasn't that many left, I won't lie. So what I decided, because I was like, oh my God, 15, I do not have 15 friends. Um, <laughs> anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be such a cute little neighbour. And we've, I basically, in this block, there's eight of us. Well, eight families or I don't know who's in them. I really don't know who's in them, but there's eight apartments. And so I thought of doing like a little message like, happy Christmas, I'm your new neighbour in flat. I won't give you my flat number, but I'm your new neighbour. It'd be lovely to meet you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know I haven't met you, but happy Christmas kind of vibe. And then they'll always think, oh, Anna gave us a Christmas card. Yeah, I'm gonna be that neighbour. Then, guys, I have finished my journal. I've got one page left. So I was like, right, I need a new journal because Again, part of this working on myself, I'm going to actively journal more. Like, I'm going to actively journal more now, right? I just got, you know what, it's just from W.O. Smith, nothing special. But I like a little bit of a hardness so I can lean on it, you know. Um, let's have a look. Oh, that's perfect. Just what I need. Oh. Right, and then... So basically, for Christmas tomorrow, I'm going to go on like a morning walk around mine, have breakfast, whatever. And then I'm basically going to drive an hour home and I'm basically going to pop around all my best friend's houses. I might even see my other friend Isha and whatever. Like I'm going to pop around all my friend's houses and I'm going to give them a little Christmas gift. I've got four little candles. I bought the big version of it for myself and this is the, basically the candle from the Scandinavian shop and it smells so good. Look how cute it is with a little wooden thing. Oh, black tea, mint leaves, dried apple, dusting off with baked cinnamon. That's what it is, cinnamon. It gave me a Christmassy vibe. So I got myself two of those, which was like, that was £35 for one candle. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be a little sandal tomorrow. Then I got myself from the Scandinavian shop, I got a little pepper grinder. Just... Did you hear that? Hear it again. Yeah. Right. I got myself a cute little plate and here is like the bowly plate. And oh my God, the lady was so, she made my day. I walked in there and she had like customers and I was just like looking around, picking some few bits, going to check out, you know, making conversation, how's your day, whatever. And then she very like quickly goes, like maybe when, you know, we're getting to the end of like packing up the stuff, she goes, you, you really seem like you have it together. And I was like, what? She was like, you know what you're doing. She goes, yeah, you know, you're young, but, but I know you've, you, you know, the way you come in here, the way you hold your presence, you talk to people, um, you know, the way that you're dressed. I was like, oh, you're gassing me up. Because obviously, like, I don't even know, but for her to, like, recognise that. And I think she was like, she even asked my star sign. She was like, what's your star sign? I was like, Libra. She goes, I thought you were an Aries. And I was like, no, I'm a Libra. She goes, well, it does make sense. You've got that leader. And anyways, I was like, this, this lady has some sort of sense to her. Do you know what I mean? You know when people can just, like, 
catch a vibe. That was her. She could catch vibes and she caught the right vibe. Um, and honestly, just made my day. And I was chatting to her and she was like, What do you do for work? Like, she was so interested and she was like putting everything together. I was like, What are you putting together, huh? And just generally, like, I was telling her when I left the store, I was like, You've really made my day, by the way. Like, I had a bit of a rough day. And you saying that you, you notice that means a lot. And the reason why it also means a lot to me is because, one, obviously, like, I do actually feel like that. Like I do, it's not that I'm putting on a mask to other people that like, you know, that I work hard. I do walk around with a bit of a presence because I feel it, right? And for her to notice that means a lot. And also because my dad always, if he taught me one thing, it was about your presence. And obviously when I was younger, it was hard to like understand. But now I really, really understand. He was always teaching me, like, imagine. <laughs> like, this was how me and my dad had our conversations. But I was just like, 10-year-old kid, like, hi, Dad. And he'd be like, we'd go shopping. And he'd go, Anna, one thing you must always know. You must always have money in your wallet. Even if you don't have much money in the bank, you must always have a full wallet. You are giving out to the world that you have an abundance of money and you will hold a certain presence. And like, young Anna, me was like, okay, Dad. <laughs> But like he taught me so many things and yeah the fact that like she kind of saw that I had that I don't know made my day made my day what are we gonna do now I'm gonna make myself a cute little dinner I'm gonna have a bath with candles yeah I'm just gonna chill just gonna chill but I basically just want to share that I've shifted my energy and I think that's a big thing because it's always an emotional roller coaster but now that like it's really at the front of my head that like okay we're back on this healing journey we're back on mission what is the mission called? Mission turn up for yourself, regulate yourself, um, be there for yourself. Don't, there's no such thing as feeling lonely, right? Like there's lonely and there's just actually being alone. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm alone right now, but I don't feel lonely right now because I feel like I'm with myself. Oh my God. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Who needs men when you can have scented candles? Okay guys, so I've written um, like little letters to all my neighbors and I'm doing my friends now. And then here's my little roasty. It's really quite simple guys, because I was, I was busy doing the card. So I've got my little burnt chicken. I'm gonna call it crispy. I'm not gonna call it burnt. Don't just to have to drink put some records on while I Otherwise I've really demolished um, the chicken <laughs> and ate pretty much everything. It was so good. Okay, I won't lie. Um, probably like the last half an hour I felt quite anxious. Like, cause I just went on my phone cause I just had a, you know, I finished my dinner. I went on my phone and I was just like seeing everyone doing what they were doing. And like, I was also like close to like reaching out to people. And I was like, and when I mean reaching out to people, I don't mean my girls, I mean guys, <laughs> guys. Okay, don't feel sorry for me. Um, <laughs> anyways, look at my bath. Look how cute this is. I've got, I think I'm gonna watch She's the Man, you know, and she's like a comforting film. And then I've got my little candles. And then I've got my dessert. Good morning, guys, it's Christmas. It's Christmas time. Oh, my bath was so good yesterday and I washed my hair, guys. I never have fresh hair, so enjoy it. Look at the length of it compared to what it used to be. You see that? Cute. I don't really know how to do it, if I'm being honest, so don't judge whatever this is. Um, but I also did a bit of my makeup. Can you tell? I hope the answer's no, because I don't like it when you can tell I've done my makeup. <laughs> but you know, it's just like subtle. It's just like subtle. I'm feeling good, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to go see my friends. Um, but I'm gonna have breakfast and I'm gonna go on a walk by myself. And I'm excited, I'm gonna get a little iced latte. Hopefully the cafe's open. I don't really know. Like, is places open on Christmas? I don't know. Um, I won't lie, I didn't like wash up last night. So I was like, oh, it's Christmas Eve. Now I've got it for Christmas. I don't care, Boxing Day. That's the amazing thing about living alone. Like, I won't lie, I've been great at tidying recently. Like, I keep myself tidy, I like it. But it's times like this where no one I say no one can tell me off because I haven't done the plates in two days. You know what I mean? Just do it boxing day. It's a boxing day chore. So guys, this is my natural hair. Like this 
wackiness is what it looks like when I let it dry, just naturally. And obviously I went to sleep with it. Um, but I'm the type of person that like, I don't like things in my way. So I like a little half up, half down because it's out my way, but I don't know if it looks weird. Let's make some breakfast. I do have blueberry yogurt and that seems like a real treat to have for breakfast. <laughs> I really want to make banana bread because look at those spotted bananas. That's calling banana bread. Pears and I've got granola. Right, I'm gonna see you guys. Hey guys, I went on my walk um, and I came back and I won't lie, my anxiety's been through the roof. Like I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> <coughs> no, I can breathe. I'm just, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, I haven't left to go back to my hometown yet, but I need to because my friends are literally ready. Guys, I got this new like little jumper and top yesterday. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Do -do. I just thought it looked cute, like a cute little combo. You know where it started from? Like the coffee shops weren't open and that really triggered me. Like I was like, I need my coffee. Uh, but uh. Okay, let's go. Guys, look who it is. Lily! Hey. Lily, the Christmas, Christmas, the last Christmas elf in her little Christmas matching PJs. Love um, it. Guys, had a lo lovely Christmas. I went and saw Millie. And then I went and saw Lily and I stole her. I took her home. Lily and Millie. Lily and Millie. Lovely friend day. Goodness. Hey guys. So it's currently Boxing Day and I had a really social like last 24 hours. Like, went to Millie, then Lily came home. Obviously I showed you yesterday. Um, and then she left about like an hour ago. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I hang out with friends for a period of time, I find it really hard to adjust when they suddenly leave. It's like, there's so much simulation. I'm fine, I have no anxiety. And then like, as soon as they go, I'm like presented with myself. Like I'll scroll, I'll be like, ah. And part of this new like, taking care of myself is like, right, we're gonna, we're gonna proactively like, turn up for myself. Also, what? Lily painted my nails red and I am never a red girl. I'm like a pastel girl, but we're going red nail theory, right? <laughs> also, do you like my Christmas outfit? Isn't it cute? Like red nails, um, green shorts. These are the new legacy shorts, which are really hot. You know what I mean? So I thought I'd have a little Christmas day outfit. Anyways, basically, I'm gonna go to the gym now because I feel like that will, firstly, I haven't been to the gym in so long. Like. The gym. I'm going to the. I'm going to Pure Gym, which you know in England, like Pure Gym, not amazing, but it's the only thing I can find. So I'm just going there, doing a little day pass, and I'm really excited. I feel like because I was just scrolling for an hour, and I could feel like my anxiety go through the roof, and I was like, Anna, I just don't like. I don't want to do that this evening. I want to turn up for myself because this is what I'm practicing. Like it's about being there for yourself when you don't have company. It's not about, oh yeah, I'm fine when my friend's around, when I have like a boy around or something like that. It's like, can I be with myself when I'm alone? And that's currently what I'm working on. So yeah, um, I'm taking myself off to the gym and I'm gonna like shift my energy, right? I'm gonna listen to my music, I'm gonna do my stuff. Yeah, isn't my outfit so cute? And then I'm basically gonna just wear matching gray trackies like this. <laughs> Let's go to the gym, gym. Let's get away. I pranked you. I didn't go gym. <laughs> because the gym was closed. I didn't check the right thing. I don't know what I checked. Anyways, drove to one pure gym. Um, it wasn't open. I was like, oh, whoops. And I realized, oh, I got the address wrong. It's a different pure gym that I looked, thought I was going to. So then I went to the second one. It wasn't open. Um, found parking and everything. Anyways. You know what it did do? It was a mental health drive because I was just in my car for about 45 minutes, I won't lie. I'm driving, listening to my music. So sometimes, if I just need to shift my energy, I just need to go on a drive. That's, that's all I need. Um, so what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna do a workout in, I'm gonna do like a dance party workout. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna like shake my ass. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of a workout, you know? Who knows how we're actually gonna get along because I was kind of imagining gym setting, weights. I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to lift weights again. I can't tell you, I can't explain to you the strongness and empowerment I feel when I lift weights. I just, I feel on top of the world, okay? Especially upper body. For me, upper body is like where I like hitting the weights because like, I can feel like the tonedness, if that makes sense. Whereas I find it hard to like, 
workout, um, upper body at home. And I have not worked up upper body in three weeks now. But genetics though, genetics, muscle memory, seven years of training. I'm joking, I'm joking guys. <laughs> I just had the best time. Guys, I had a dance party with myself. I don't even know how long it's been. Like, I was shaking my ass. I even put my cargoes on. Cause I was like, bitch, I'm not working out. I'm dancing. I need my rave trousers on. Also guys, I've decided that I'm gonna learn to shuffle. I'm gonna be a cool raver girl. Cause when I go to raves, right? I like to boogie. Sorry, the, the soul wet right now. Also, I'm gonna be really cool at like all of this stuff. I'm gonna like ping all. I'm gonna like, ping all, woo. And then I'm gonna be like, doing all this shuffle. I'm a lion, basically I'm a lion. 2023, I'm gonna be a cool raver girl. I might wear this to a rave, you know? And then I just like, draw out, like maybe Sharpie in the back of the Gymshark so that I don't get canceled at a rave again, rave event, because I'm wearing Gymshark, but. Serotonin. Up. So I'm just editing, but I just wanted to say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, very much a roller coaster as per usual, but I'll give you a little sneak peek into how I'm doing. It's been about one week since the last clip, and I feel like a lot more settled in, a lot more comfortable with myself. Like the things that I was talking about in the video about like, I'm gonna try work on myself and I'm gonna try enjoy my alone time. It's been genuinely working. Like I'm actually enjoying my evenings at the moment. And that's crazy for me. Like I get in a routine with doing my skincare and my shower and making dinner for myself and putting on a movie. I'm just really, really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. I'm in a better space. I'm finding my routines. So yeah, um, just remember that like, when you put in the effort into yourself and giving yourself time to journal, reflect, brain dump, therapy, pause, you know, stop and do nothing, go on a little mental health walk, through consistent action, not just one, not just two, but consistent action, you do feel better. You do feel better. Um, so I'm telling lots of love to you guys. Be sure to give this video a little like, to help me out, and comment anything, um, and I will get back to you in the comments. So, love you all.